Okay, so we're going to start this Little Wing tutorial with a look at the intro, which is just an absolute classic. You're going to see that he's um, going to be working off of a lot of uh, chords and embellishing them all. Uh, and he's going to be doing this all through the intro, all through the, the two verses. Um, so you get a really good workout and in, in, um, things that you can do around these chords. So let's get started. We're going to start with this E figure up here, where you can basically just take your thumb if you want, uh, up, up on the sixth string, and just night, and do a little, little quick little, and then come over and hold with, I mean, with the downstroke there, and then barring these top two strings with your first finger, and or you can just just you know chug in and hit that E like that, and uh, you know either way it sounds fine, uh, but just take these two. The most essential thing is take these top two notes and upstroke them and slide them down. Then you hit just the, the uh, low 6th string, E, open, and then mute the strings with your left hand, um, and then just do a, two quick rakes, down up. We have, all right, then we start the little figures here. The first one's going to be like this. Now all we're doing here is we start the fifth string open, hammer on to two, and then hit the third string open. And then while you're doing that, that open G there, uses an opportunity to come up and to the fifth fret, shift to the fifth fret with your first finger and go, and that is just going to be a hammer on. Cover five, the two fives on the fourth and fifth string. Hit those together. Hammer on the seven on the fifth string. Then come over to the two middle fives on two middle strings, the third and fourth. Hit those twice. And on the second one, do a hammer on at the sevens. We have. So we have. And then we come back to the All right, so now we're going this was over um, this uh, That was all kind of over an E and then we got to the G. This is on the G root note with your thumb. So pick that, come over with your thumb, pick that with the downstroke, then hit the third string open, open G string. And then have a bar at the third fret with your first finger and do a quick little trill when you hit those two strings together. Hammer on the five and pull back off to the three. Just a just five on the first string. It's kind of easy to do with your thumb, so it goes. And then you can hit the, those top two strings again at least. Are you gonna come down and hold this G chord it's kind of how Hendrix did his, uh, he didn't really do bar chords like this. He liked to play them like this. And um, we have the third finger at the fifth fret, fourth string, third finger, I mean second finger at the fourth fret, third string, and then first finger at the third fret, second string. And you're barring that right there. So when we did this little, how that, when you hit that again, you hold, you have the whole G there. Now we start this little figure. And all that is, is basically you're hitting the second and third string. You see how right now we have it as just a one and two, this third and fourth fret. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate. So we're gonna pull that off. Since we have this right here, we're gonna use our pinky to go to that five underneath uh, the third finger there. So what we're going to do, when we pick those two, the three and four, you're going to hammer on that five with your pinky on that third string. Okay? Let's try to get that finger out of the way so you can see it. All right? So we have this. And then you pick back and forth. Just down, up, down, up. Just five, four, five, four. You're always picking those second and third string the whole time. Start with a hammer on then. And then you end it with 
a downstroke on this five. Then you just move your thumb up to the A on the fifth str on sixth string, this fifth fret, and then we have this figure. So that's just hammer on from five to seven on the fifth string. Come over and play this the two fives on the third and fourth string, and then come back down to the seven. Then come over to the two fives at the second and third strings. So we did a we played those two second and third strings together, hammered the seven onto the third string only, but you still got that uh, second string ringing, that second string five ringing. Come back and hit those two fives. Come over to the fourth string and hit the five and hammer on to seven real quick and then kill it. So all together so far. Then come over to the and that is just basically a hammer on from five to seven again, the little ending here. Play five on the fourth string and then reach over and grab the seven and slide it down. You can slide into that if you want. Kind of sounds like he slides into it there. And then we have this open E. So come up, and you're gonna this is gonna be based around an E minor seven. Alright? So get a bar at the seventh fret from across the first five strings. And we're gonna basically have basically all you really need is this first finger and this second finger here. The the second finger is gonna be playing the eighth fret on the second string. You're gonna pick, so when you pick the zero, then you pick seven on the fifth string, then come up and hit eight, and do a quick hammer pull to 10 with your pinky on the second string. Then hit the third string with that seven, you're already barring it, so we have this. Sorry. Then we're gonna quickly come down and do this little, this little phrase. So all that is, is you start with a power chord, seven and nine, on seven on the fifth, nine on the uh, fourth, hit that twice. Then you replace, you pick up the third finger and put your pinky at the 10th fret on the fifth string. And you want that still going with your, your the, the, you still want that seven bar that's playing on the, so when you play 10 on the fifth, and seven on the fourth. Then come to the two middle strings, and that is just, I've still got the whole bar going there, letting these notes just like run into one another all you want. The two sevens, hit them twice. On the second one, do a hammer on nine. So it goes, then back down to the two sevens. We have this so far. And then come back down to the 10 on the 5th string. You're going to hit the 10 and the 2 middle 7s together. 3 strings. And then 7, 7, 7. 5, 4th, and 3rd string. So we have... Then come over and grab the B on the 7th fret, 6th string. And this was a little bit of a difficult maneuver. We're going to have this B here, and then the third finger is going to play the nine next on the fourth string. And he holds his minor chord like he did his major this way. He does his minor like that with this fifth string muted out with the uh, top of the third finger. So we have, then you come up and you're doing this bar with the, the uh, third finger here. I mean, the first finger at the seventh fret across the first three strings. Reach your pinky up there. And just play that seven on the first, second string and this nine on the um, first string together, and then you move that nine up to ten and then back. So underneath that chord, it's like this. Now, if you would like, you can go, which is probably 
you can just kind of play that nine and they just come over. Probably the more sensible way of doing it, but um, uh, depends on how many notes you want to keep going in the hand. You, you have to let them go and do that. So anyway, when you go seven, I mean seven and nine, ten, and then come down to the second fret. I mean second string. I'm sorry, and seven. Hammer on to the ten, and then come over to the seven on the first string. So we have. And then you play the seven, the nine, seven, and seven together real quick. So we have. Then we have a quick little, little passing go. And what's going on here is he's got this B flat here, the sixth fret with his thumb, and he has that major shape again that we did here at the G at the 6th fret here, 7th fret on the 3rd, 8th fret on the 4th, and the top of the 3rd finger there is muting that 5th string. So when he goes, does this little passing chord, he picks that low B flat, and then picks that, mute it. You can also mute with the, help it mute with the bottom of the, the thumb if you can reach it over that far. So he goes 6th string, Hit that muted string and then hit the two strings, the eight and seven again. Then we've made it down to the A, A minor chord. And we have this phrase. So that's basically this play five and kill it. Come to the two middle strings. You're gonna be doing a do a bar here across five strings with your uh, or all six strings with your first finger. And take your seventh fret, fourth string, uh, fourth string with your third finger. So you're going to play these two middle strings, uh, seven and five together. So you can hear that five. And you're going to do a quick hammer with the pinky. It's kind of a stretch. So you want to maybe grab it like this first. You might want to, it might be easier for you if you can do this with your second finger. But anyway, you do the seven and nine. Then back to you do a quick little hammer. Still hearing that. Then pick seven and five again. Down to five and five. This is all the two little strings. And then we come down to the eight, five, five. And then five, five on the fourth and fifth string. So we have. Then we're back to the two middle string fives. And just do that same. You hit it twice, hammer on, then you pick that again. Then take your your first finger, slide it to seven, and then slide up to the uh, third fret with your thumb. So we're we'll back down to the G majors. So we have this. And just kind of get that going. Now, we're at the G, finally, we're towards the end here. The third finger, fifth fret, fourth string, first finger, second fret, second, uh, third fret, sorry, second string, and then your pinky at the fifth fret up here on the first string. Have that going, hit this low G, and go pick, you're gonna have this middle, the fourth string, I mean the third string open G, ring in two. Hit the, those chord, those notes, and slide them up two frets. Basically, pick it and slide it back down. And then hit this low G again, and then hit that chord again. And bring it down to the first fret. And when you get there, start doing this down, up, down, up. You're taking this low F here and just doing a. Get that little rhythmic pulse going. Hold a C major chord now and then take the third finger off and pick the C major and hammer on that third finger. OK, 
Okay, so that's easy. Third fret and fifth string, second fret, fourth string, first fret, second string, but you're gonna hammer on. And as soon as you get that hammer on, take your second finger and move it over to the second fret on the third string and pick that. Do you have this two and one? Pick those two strings. Then lay your pinky down at the third fret on the second string. So now you have two and three there. And then back to the two and one. So we have. All right, and we're gonna end it while I just move it, slide it up to this B power chord, fifth uh, string, fifth fret, and then uh, fourth string, seventh fret. And just go back and forth between those five and seven. And then we're gonna end it with this phrase. So we're, all that is is a bar of the seventh fret again across the second, third, and fourth strings. Get those three notes in there. We now have that uh, F sharp in there. So we picked it, hammered on to the nine on the fourth string, and then did a down up on the cross the seventh again. And then come down to the 10 on the fifth string with your pinky and hit the two sevens here, middle strings with it. And then seven, seven, seven. And then pick it again and do a hammer on on the ninth fret, fifth string. So we have. Actually hit those sevens twice. So we have this all together up here. Pick it, do that thing, just slide it down. And that's it for the intro. Now on to the verses.